Hello! Shadowcat back with a new game for a new month. Yes, it's August, and that means there's a new Humble Bundle. Actually, there has been for several days now, but it's taking me this long to actually get to it and get it done. Which is bad for me, because that means that the month is already like one-third over, and I haven't even started it yet. And given that the entire goal is to get through the game in a month, well, we just barely made it through Hammerting. But this is not Hammerting. In fact, this is a completely different kind of game. This... This is Bloodstained. I know nothing about this game, except that I watched the trailers for it to get an idea of whether or not I thought I could do it, and I think it's Castlevania. Not gonna lie, there's gonna be a lot of references to Castlevania in here. Which is going to be weird because I have an admission to make. I never actually played Castlevania. Please don't unsubscribe from me. No, no, click, click, click the subscribe button again. Trust me, st stay with me here. Make sure you click the bell too. I mean, I promise I'm going to make it right. But, I never played a Castlevania game. Never really had the chance to. Just never really got around to it. This, however, looks eerily similar. It takes place in a 2D dungeon kind of environment. You run around, kill monsters. Not demons, I don't think. In fact, I don't even really know what they are. But, yeah, it's it, it looks like Castlevania. And that being said, I don't really know what else to say about it because I don't know anything more about this than what it is. So, let's just get in and take a look at it. And I gotta play with a controller. And this is weird. Okay, so, we're going to delete this. We don't need this anymore. I tried playing with the keyboard and mouse. This is not a keyboard and mouse kind of game. No, it is not. So, we're going to do this again with a controller. We're going to, yeah, we're going to take Miriam. We're not going to change any of that stuff. We're going to play on normal, because I've never played this game before, and... I would normally go for medium, but seeing as how normal is like the lowest on here, it's just what we're going to do. Overall, I'd say the game looks pretty nice from what I've seen so far. This game has been out for a while, and as I understand it, it's already gone through like a complete overhaul in terms of graphics. The Industrial Revolution ushered in a new era that threatened to transform the values of men. No longer would spirituality be their compass, but not all welcomed the change. In 1783, just as the fires of the Lackey eruption had plunged all of Europe into an ashen darkness, a horde of demons spilled from the shadows and fell upon city after English city. It was a message. The Alchemy Guild, fearing the rise of industrialism and abandonment by their wealthy patrons, had done the unthinkable to defend their existence. Through recondite arts, the alchemists had created shard binders. Humans transplanted with crystal that attuned them to demonic power. They sacrificed the shard binders, and in doing so, threw the gates of the world open to demon kind. Countless innocents died, and though the church succeeded in vanquishing the hell's end, a steep price had already been paid. And collected. As for the shard binders, they were presumed to have all died in the sacrificial rite. However, two survived. Jebel, a boy for whom by some miracle the rite did not prove fatal. And Miriam, a girl who was spared the rite altogether on account of the strange slumber that took her just before it could begin. Hey, that's us. Ten years have passed, and mankind too soon forgets tragedy. The demons have returned, presaged by a great castle. And on this very hour, Miriam awakens. Upon learning Jebel is the architect of this new bloodstained ritual, Miriam and the alchemist Johannes set forth for the accursed castle. 
Their galleon cuts through the water, glancing towards the inevitable. And I know, giant castle, but it's not Castlevania, I promise. You, you gotta believe me on this one. It's not Castlevania. Johannes, are you certain it was... It was Jeebel's doing, Miriam. No mistake. It's so hard to believe. I wouldn't even be alive if not for him. He's a good soul. I know. I know how you feel. But the facts are apparent. And the hell he endured ten years ago would break the best of souls. Miriam, I want you to know that I'm sorry. What my brother subjected you to... There's no forgiving it. It was their transgression, not yours. You... you always took care of us. Obviously not enough. Well... Let it go, Johannes. We need to focus on the task ahead. If Jebel is responsible for the summoning, then I have to stop him. I gave him my word. I ought to do it. He was my best friend. But I'm the only one who can. The Shard experiments prepared me for combat. Let them amount to something. <sighs> Ten whole years. What put me in that sleep? I wish I had the answer. All I know is the spell that stopped time for you was... advanced, arcane. But by observing the ebb of the magic's hold on you, I was able to predict exactly when you would wake up. Oh, I see. We'll make landfall soon. You should get ready. I had the chest there packed with essential equipment. Now would be a good time to put it on. All right, and welcome to the game. So, I played a little bit of this with the keyboard. That's how I know that it's not really a keyboard kind of game. So, how do we get around? That's how we jump. That's how we kick. That's how we break the lamps. Sorry. And up to open chests. And that button. Okay, Kung Fu Shoes or a Knife. They both do the same amount of damage. I like the knife, though. I like the knife. Alright, is there anything else here that we can do? I don't think so. Good. You're prepared. The next order of business is to... What is that? I'll take care of it. Why do I volunteer for things? Yeah, you never get used to that. So now I can use the Y button for magic. Cerulean Splash. Was that a shard? I'd forgotten the way it felt. Like... Uninvited claws scraping across my bones. The demon's power was transmuted into that shard, which forcibly bonded to the crystal embedded in your body. The strength you gain from it is undeniable, but eventually, the crystal will devour you. I thought the procedure you discovered halted the corruption. It did, but that doesn't guarantee you'll be safe if you start absorbing shards in massive quantities. Well, I didn't exactly get a choice. I know my body's limits better than anyone. And I'm going to need all the power I can get. And if I run into trouble, you can help me. You've done it before. You'll do it again. <laughs> Thanks for giving me a choice in the matter. Well, I won't let you down. Not if I can help it. Just promise you won't push yourself. <laughs> well, How he's gone. How did they gone. get inside? The demons from the castle must have infested the ship. Then they can help me wake up these muscles of mine. I'll wipe the deck with them. I mean, we do look pretty good for someone who's been asleep for ten years. It's almost like muscle atrophy isn't a thing. 
So the Galleon Minerva. All right, here we go. Now, if anyone else has actually played Metroid before, some of this might actually look familiar. I haven't, and so it looks 2D. Come on, jump, jump. I got a potion. That'll be helpful. This device responds to magic. Maybe I just need to hold my hand up to it. Okay, so right stick. Ah. Cool. Cool. I like it. Do it do anything else? I guess not. What is that out there? And you go away. Bad squid thing. Oh, there's a flying thing up there, too. Okay. Ow! Yeah, I'm not good at these kind of games. Wait, what about that magic? That worked. Excellent. Anything in here? A rusted ring. Can we use that? I think we can use that. Uh, accessory? Rusted ring. Gives us defense and constitution. Lovely. More hit points. Hit points are good. I'm gonna need them. So what's... Oh, whoa. Oh, I leveled up. Candles drop, a, or can drop a mana rose when destroyed. Mana rose is a magical ro rose that slightly replenishes MP. Cool. I do like magic. Like, this whole thing with the knife? I don't like getting this close. I always believe that if you're at range, you have options. If you're in melee, you're out of options. Cool. Sliding. What do we got? We got a tunic. Let's put that on. Body. Tunic. More defense. I like it. Bookshelf? From my studies, I found the existence of the following attributes. Slash, thrust, strike, fire, ice, thunder, light, dark, poison, curse, and stone. That's interesting. I don't suppose I can read any more about those? I guess not. So one of the things that I do know about this is these maps are huge. And there's a lot in them. And I also learned that these save points are important. Save every time you pass one. Because if something were to happen, which it probably will, not gonna lie, because I'm not good at this kind of thing, but if something were to happen, then if you did you automatically go back to the last place you saved there are no checkpoints all right what's over here wait i don't hit the candle ha, got the candle got it i got stabbed A directional shard. Aim, and then use the right trigger to activate. Flame cannon. What does that do? <gasps> I can throw fireballs. Ah, <gasps> oh, yes. Magic is so my bag. <laughs> uh, I'm out of mana already, though. I think I just picked up one of those flowers, though. So what else can we find? <laughs> Never mind, I take it back. I'm awesome at this. This 
ain't so hard. Give me flowers. Wait, come back here. Ow, I'm out of mana. Okay, well, I, I definitely see a flaw in my plan. I don't have nearly enough mana for this. I'm gonna have to use the knife. Take that. That works well. Oh, but now I'm out of mana. Picked up a something. Gotcha! I need something better than this knife, though. A galleon map. Oh, cool. And then I can zoom? Okay. And it shows me where there's chests on the map, too. Let's go see if we can get some chests. So here's one. SP rounds. I don't know what that means. Cotton. Like, is there going to be crafting in this game? Otherwise, why am I picking all these up? Yeah, go away, squids. Another chest. A short sword. You know what? I don't really like swords, but I'll take it. Short sword. Anything's better. Yeah, you take a seat. Alright, what's in here? Flashing air kick. Perform up to three spinning kicks by repeating the same command. But I have to be wearing shoes. Um, maybe? Sure, we have shoes, don't we? Yeah, we got shoes. I'm not good at combos. Okay, maybe not. I'm not good at the whole combo thing. Halite? What is how I I don't even know. What's in here? Another save point. All right. And we're off. It's always important to save. Now the chest. A tattered scarf. Well, we already have a scarf that has one defense. This is one defense and one... Mind? Well, presumably mind would give me better magic somehow. So we'll we'll do that. I like magic. He doesn't though. What was that? That was like a, a shard, except it didn't work. Alright, well, that's enough out of him. Oh, he spawned quick. Uh, it says there's a chest up there, but I don't know how you get it. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! I don't like fighting those guys. Yeah, I don't know how I get up there. Looks like there's no way through the other way. I don't know. 
Keep going, though. Get up there. I don't know what you are, but you need to go away. Wait. What just happened? Summon ghost? Uh, halite and sugar. So how do I summon a ghost? Is it in equipment? Shards? <gasps> Wait, summon ghost. Cool. Let's try that. Oh, I don't have any mana. Oh, I do. Oh, it's not working. Okay, maybe I just need more mana for it? I guess we'll find out. No, nope, now we have more mana. What the heck? What are you? Okay, the little ghost thing did not do much. And for some reason, my phone thought it needed to turn on. This is a professional operation, as you can tell. <gasps> Wait, a claymore? As in like a big two-handed sword? Oh, heck yes. Yeah! Now that's what I'm talking about. Corn seed, rice seed, potato seeds. Yeah! Yeah! Come on, get up there and hit it. Come! Leveled up again. Ha! Okay, ghost thing is cool. Ha! And cannon explodes. So wait, where do we need to be going? Where's my map? There's my map. Um, I don't think that I can really get into there anywhere. What about over here? Did we ever go through there? I don't think I ever went through there. Or down here. We're, we're, we're closer to here. So let's go down here and see what's up. He splashed me. More SP rounds. <gasps> A gun. Now that's my thing. Guns may not be the strongest thing ever, but... <laughs> if I don't have to get close to you, all the better for me. That's enough out of you. And a chest that I almost forgot. I wonder, is there a way to get through here? Hmm, maybe not. And that was close. That guy almost landed on me. Let's make sure that we explore everything. Let's see, can we do it from up? Yeah, we need to go up. And we go up from here. Yeah, I see you. And I gotcha. You got what was coming to you. Ow, ow. Wow, you're tough. 
Wait, Cerulean Splash? Again? So, can I collect shards and, like, level things up? Is that how that works? I don't know. I can't seem to get up there. Huh. Well, I don't know what's up there then. But I can't jump high enough. Is that like, like stand on or something? Maybe? Guess not. Alright, where to next then? I must be able to find some way to jump better in another part of the game. And you stop chasing me. Oh. There we go. Let's see, that's a save point. Has been a minute since I saved. Oh, right, I need to jump through there. So is there anywhere else for me to explore down here? Just that one mystery room right there that I can't seem to get in, and that one chest there. I don't know. Oh, there are things that you can stand on. Okay, come on. We got a whip! I failed to see how a whip is better than a gun, though. Is there anything over here? I can stand on this stuff. 500 gold! Okay, that ghost thing is awesome. I like the ghost thing. Mana Rose. Potion. Is there anything down here? Besides more Mana Roses. Another 500 gold. I think it's gold. The way they're giving out money, though. Oh, another save point. Give me a minute. All right, all set. Okay, so the only things left are those spots that I can't seem to jump high enough to get to. I don't know if that's me doing something wrong, or if I'll be able to come back here. I can't tell. However, I do think that I should be going through this door. So, oh, Sleeping Beauty, you've decided to awaken. Shibu, tell me you didn't do this. It doesn't make any sense. How does it not? After all the sins humans wrought upon us? Johannes told me what they did to you. And you're right, it's horrible. But what you're doing now is just as bad. No! No, there you are. Very wrong. What the alchemists did was reshuffle our bodies. What I intend to do is reshuffle the world. I'd say I've earned the right. Join me, Miriam. You're the only one who understands the pain I feel. What it's like to no longer be human. I still look pretty human. What? I never thought I'd hear those words from you. I was the one that came to you broken, convinced I was a monster, and you told me... This is nonsense! You told me our power doesn't make us good or bad. 
our choices do. I'd given up on my humanity, but you restored my hope. Don't you remember? <sighs> Master Jeebel, we must return. Yes. Miriam, I tire of reminiscing with you. You're here to kill me, aren't you? Then first prove you can find me. Along the way, you'll have no choice but to absorb shards and avail yourself of the powers of hell. If you can still claim to be human at the end of it all, then perhaps I might be more inclined to listen. Come, Gremory. We're leaving. Again, this isn't Castlevania. And he's totally Demo, not wait. Dracula. Oh, that's big. Oh, I'm gonna have a bad time, aren't I? Ow! Take this! You stop that! No, 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 no. Wait, where did you go? Take this! Ow! And I'm out of mana. Take this! Take this! Oh! Spawned monsters! That's Take not cool. This. Stop spitting water. Come back here. Fight me like a sea witch. Ah, I see. Jump it. I got it now. <laughs> I'm learning. Um, potions. I need one. I wish there was like a quick way to do this. Maybe there is. Inventory. Uh, potion. Okay. And I've got some magic back. Ow. Stupid tentacles, leave me alone. Ow. Okay, need a potion again. Okay, I have one potion left. Is there anything else in here I can use? I mean, really. There's nothing else in here I can use. I only have one potion left. Okay, using it. Take that! No, you don't. Okay, I gotta be really careful. Ow! No, leave me alone. Take this! No, 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 no! Ow! Stop hitting me. How many hits does it take to kill you? This is not working. Take that! 
Okay, I think I need different equipment. So instead of the musket, let's get the claymore out. Okay. With the claymore, I can do a lot more damage to all those stupid little creature things. Ow! It hit me! Okay. Yeah. Nope. Don't hit me with that. Don't hit me. Man, what does it take to kill you? This is not working. Does anyone have a better idea? Can we like ram her with the ship or something? Hit her, hit her, hit her, hit her. Okay. That was not fun. Wait, thrashing tentacle, attack boys with one of Vepar's tentacles. I got new magic? Just a flicker. That was the Jeebel I know. I will put a stop to all this. Okay. I beat the big fish lady. Which, you know, first level. I, I should be able to beat the first level boss, but whatever. <laughs> okay. 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 I can do this. I can do this. We're here. Was this a village? What happened to it? The demons Jeebel summoned? They've moved faster than we hoped. Miriam, we have to hurry. This was where we were supposed to meet our contact. All right, but wait. Let me clear the area. There are still demons about. I bet there are. So, I can still go back onto the boat. Yeah! Can I reach anything new? It does not look like it. But what I can do... is I can go save. So, yeah. That's what we're going to do. I'm going to go say, I can't believe I beat the giant fish lady. That was cool. All right. So this is Humble August. Welcome to Humble August. We're playing Bloodstained. So, of course, Castlevania kind of game, 2D platforming, killing monsters, everything else. Looks like it's going to be fun. I'm surprised I haven't died yet, but I have a feeling I'm going to die several more times before this game is over. Either way, though, I'm looking forward to it, and I'm hoping I can finish this before August is over. But even if I can't, uh, this will be a fun game to play, I think. So if you'd like to play this one too, don't forget this game came out of the August Humble Bundle. So if you want to play it, go get the August Humble Bundle. Remember, everything in the Humble Bundle goes to charity. Not only are you getting games, you're doing it for a good cause. I, what, what more do you need? Games for a good cause. There you go. And if you'd like to see me play this, if you'd just like to check back and see how I'm doing and how well I'm not doing, because it's going to get worse, I promise, then make sure that you subscribe. Click the bell icon right next to the subscribe thing. Otherwise, subscribe doesn't actually do anything. Honestly, the subscribe button is kind of useless. The bell is the only thing that matters. And if you know someone else who actually knows something about Castlevania and might be able to give me some pointers, or they just like Castlevania kind of games then share this video with them. And otherwise, if you see what I'm doing wrong, or you actually have played this game and know what I should be doing instead, leave a comment down below, because I read all the comments and I desperately am going to need help. Like, desperately. So do comment down below. I look forward to hearing back from you, and I look forward to seeing you next time when we come back for more Bloodstained, and until that time, take care. <laughs>